We are right in the mix of the sunflower with the people who made it happen. Taylor Van Aken and Brian Coombs, welcome. Thank you. Now, Taylor, you grew this whole field of sunflowers. Yeah, now I can't take all the credit. There was a few other people who helped. Yeah. Uh, my business partner, Greg Keyes, okay. who I farm with. And then, of course, Brian uh, gave the land you up. You donated for, uh, the land, yeah, Brian. My wife, Mary Ellamy, donated the land. It was her idea to uh, plant the sunflowers. So, What's your connection to the family? Kevin and Jamie have been longtime friends. Uh, Jamie used to actually work for me when she okay. lived in Bayfield. Okay. And uh, we're very close. How, do, how does how does their story touch you? Sick kids in the Children's Hospital in London is affiliated with REMAX. So the REMAX agents across the world have donated money to the Children's Hospitals. So both a family and yes. a business connection. Yeah. And, and Taylor, for you, what gets you excited about growing this in honor of MAX? Well, it was first of all, it was definitely an interesting challenge. I've yeah. never grown sunflower before. So there was a bit of pressure on that <laughs> side of things. We grow a few other crops, but sunflowers was a first, so we had to reach out to a few different uh, experts in the area and, and kind of just understand what was needed in order to get them looking like this. So you can imagine there's a bit of pressure on that end. It was just a good opportunity to be able to use our area of expertise to give back yeah. in a different way than be able to and cool opportunity what, I'd say. What so. kind of farming do you do regularly? Uh, we're regular cash crop farmers okay. so we grow uh, corn, white beans, soybeans and uh, wheat. Well you know of. it's great that you added to your repertoire because <laughs> every good farmer, I'm a Varna pig farmer by, <laughs> yeah. by birth and every good farmer knows how to have one of these in their toolkit so now you can <laughs> boast that yeah. you are a sunflower pearl. Yeah yeah and there is some locals who gave some good advice to us. Uh, Stefan Zettner yep. provided some growing advice on the sunflowers, as well as uh, John Wright, the agronomist at Silvite. He helped it's, us it's out a bit. It's amazing. Like, was there any challenges or what did you learn that was unique about growing well, the sunflowers? Sunflowers are hard to control the weeds and they're very sensitive to any sort of chemical. So we had to really change our program on that side of things. Uh, but besides that, just uh, we used a corn planter and that worked pretty good. And uh, a bit of fertilizer and bit of rain so a little uh, everything came together <laughs> everything for came Max, together it? really everything well came it together was the for perfect Max. weather are you are you happy with how it turned absolutely. out absolutely they're they're gorgeous yeah. and and now brian we're seeing just a ton of people drive down highway 21 they're honking they're cheering they they're walking through the fields they're making donations how does that feel oh that feels good it feels good and uh, i'm just so happy we could do a little bit for the ron belts family and uh, their charitable organizations. Yeah, it touches everyone, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We all know someone who's battled cancer yeah. or something to the like yeah. and, and what it goes through for a family. Yeah. And this, Taylor, is what a beautiful reminder of how there's strength and, and warmth and, and kindness mm -hmm. in this smile of a sunflower. And you helped make that happen, my friend. <laughs> Cheers to you. It's been a lot of fun. Cheers to you. <laughs> well, I can't think of a better evening to spend with you. And uh, they're reminding us of the warmth in the world and in our community. And I know that many will stop by just to experience this and to be with the family and to give and to donate and remember what it is like to come by and be part of a community.